Hi, I'm Marty Nimco. This essay is called The World Without Ads. Unrealistic thought experiments can be mind-expanding precursors to practical brainstorming, and it's in that spirit that I've concocted a number of thought experiments, which you can find on this YouTube channel or in text on my medium.com channel. Well, today's thought experiment, would the world be better or worse without ads? Ads are helpful when the creator of a worthy new product needs to spread the word before word of mouth can take hold. Another plus for advertising and marketing is that the industry employs lots and lots of people. But from where I sit, ads, of course including commercials, are a huge net negative. They make people unwisely buy items and brands. Of course, there's the now thankfully banned cigarette ads, but ads for junk food and for beer are ubiquitous. Can ads for marijuana, which is more dangerous than popularly believed, be far behind? Luxury cars are widely advertised. They cost hundreds of percent more and require more service and break down more than, for example, Toyotas. But Madison Avenue manipulators use words and images, like babes and hunks, draped over a Luxmobile, implying that if you just spend bigger than for a normal car, your life will be so much better. Even a quality brand like Toyota disproportionately advertises its slower selling and less desirable models. Do you really need a 4x4 SUV, that's mainly for off-road, starting at over $40,000 and that gets 16 miles per $6 a gallon gas? Insurance companies advertise with cute animals, building in the enormous cost of creating and placing their many commercials into the often already overpriced insurance rates they charge. In doing the research for an essay I wrote for Time, I found that rates for the widely advertised Liberty Mutual Insurance Company, complete with the requisite animal, an emu, were much higher than, for the, than lower cost quality insurers' rates. Then there are prescription drugs, in which the often life-threatening side effects are read flatly at lightning speed with no supporting video. I've yet to see the off-sighted heart attack or death side effect. In contrast, the drug's potential benefits, often merely symptomatic rather than curative, are read slowly and enthusiastically, drummed home with a video of happy patients. Should we really ask your doctor about Zizaza? Based on a commercial whose purpose is not to fairly inform, but to sell? Last but not least, political ads. Because of the high stakes, politicians, or at least their campaign managers, can hire particularly sophisticated manipulators to create their ad and place them so they get the swing voters. We speak of threats to democracy. Well, too often, the candidate who wins is not the one who's best, but the one that raised the most money so he or she can buy the most and most manipulative commercials. That is a threat to democracy. Advertisers and marketers may claim that their ads and commercials mainly inform, but they wouldn't spend billions if ads didn't get people to buy what they wouldn't have based on more legitimate sources, such as user reviews, consumer reports, and word of mouth. In Toto, unlike in my previous thought experiments, this one leads me to a clear conclusion. Where I sit, at least, uh, yeah, from where I sit, humankind would be far better off in a world without ads. In any event, I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. And certainly would welcome you taking a look at any of my 28 books, all of which are on Amazon. Just go to Amazon and search on my name, Marty Nemco, N-E-M-K-O, and you'll find more than you can stomach. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.